Hi everyone and welcome to Itchin' for some stitching. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to crochet the magic ring, a technique used to create the center of a project when working in the round. My next video will show you how to use the magic ring to make a simple five petal crochet flower. So be sure to check that out too. Okay, so let's begin. To start the magic ring you want to start as you would if you were going to make a regular slip knot. So run the yarn over your hand, up and around the two fingers, make an X, pull through, hold on to the loop between the thumb and the forefinger, bring the yarn down, and usually to make a slip knot, you would then pull the center yarn out through the loop. We're not going to do that to make the magic ring. We're going to leave it there. We're going to take the hook, insert it inside this front portion, back around the yarn right there, pull it back up and pull your yarn out like this. So now you've got a loop on top of a loop. You want to make sure that you hold this loop and this tail between your thumb and your forefinger. Okay, so now you have the ring. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate the um, double crochet simply because I like that technique. So we're going to double crochet into this ring. To do that, you start by chaining three. One, two, and three. Okay. Wrap it around your hook, and then you take the hook and it goes into that loop. Pull up, wrap it around, and pull through, and you've got one double crochet. Now this chain three that we did initially, that counts as your first double crochet, but this is your first one you actually made. So technically you have two double crochets right here. Let's go for another one. three and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make about ten of them. Four, five, Six. Now when you're doing this, when you're double crocheting, or even if you're starting out with single crochets here, no matter what stitch you're using, you want to make sure that when you go into the loop that you're going under both the actual loop and the tail that you have here. And I like to do that. I hold it together like this between the thumb and the forefinger. Okay. That's seven. Eight. Ooh, let's be careful not to get the tail mixed in. Hold on to that. Nine. And here's ten. Okay. And at this point, it really looks like a little fan. You've got a fan part here, and then you have a loop, and then you've got your little tail. And then, of course, you've got your long tail that's attached to your skein of yarn. So at this point, it definitely doesn't look really round, does it? I mean, it's round in that you have this part here and this part here, and it's circular, but we want all of this, our fan part, to be all the way around. In order to do that, at this point, we take this tail, and we pull it. And you see how the loop is pulling through and it's pulling those fan pieces together. So it's all put together like this. Then we leave our short tail hanging, take our long tail, and we're going to make a slip stitch into the top. Okay, sorry about that folks. We had a slight technical difficulty with the camera, but it is fixed now. So as I was saying, we have the, what was like a fan, is now been pulled tight by pulling the short string, which was right here, the, uh, the short tail. We pulled it all together, 
And now we want to slip stitch into the top chain of the first uh, three chains that you made here, that, that chain one, two, three, we're gonna go into the top chain. So we go over here, we go in, we wrap our tail around and we pull through and we're gonna pull through again. All right, and there we have our circle. Now, you can see that um, this circle, which is going to be the center of your project for working in the round, it has a hole right here. And a lot of times that hole is just fine. It's, there's nothing wrong with it, but a lot of times people don't like that hole. If they don't want it there, like if it's at the top of a hat or a coaster or something like that, they really want that hole to kind of disappear. And that is the magic of the magic ring. If we turn it over and we pull on that short tail some more, we can actually tighten this up. Pull that there. Okay, and you can see now there is no hole. There's nothing there, it's all cinched together. And that is why people love the magic ring, other than the fact that it is actually a very easy technique. Um, as I said, this is perfect for hats, for coasters, for flowers, um, any time where you're going to be crocheting in a circle like this. And that is how you do the magic ring. Stay tuned for our next video, which will demonstrate how to use this magic ring to create a five petal flower, a very easy five petal crocheted flower. Thanks for joining us. Happy crocheting.